Hello dear students, this is lecture 11. In this lecture, we calculate time of maximum height and time of flight of a projectile. What is time of maximum height? Once the projectile is projected from the initial position, what is the time required for it to reach the maximum height? That is called time of maximum height. What is time of flight? The time during which the projectile is in flight is called time of flight. Means time required for the projectile to reach back to the same height is called time of flight. Okay. We will see how to derive an equation. We will consider uh, a projectile projected with some velocity u okay, as we have done in the previous uh, derivation. This is the trajectory. Okay. Now uh, we know that horizontal component of velocity is u cos theta and the vertical component of velocity is u sin theta. So what we have to calculate? We have to calculate time of maximum height. Correct? At what time the particle reaches the maximum height? So first we should think what we know about maximum height. Okay. One important point is here I'll write at maximum height. Very important. At maximum height. At maximum height. At maximum height. Vy is equal to 0 means vertical component of velocity is equal to 0 means if you closely observe here okay here from here to here projectile is almost going horizontally it is not going up it is not going down so at the maximum height its vertical component of velocity will be 0 okay so that is the hint so what you have to do you choose the you write the equation for Vy using V equal to u plus 80 okay using u, V is equal to u plus 80 we know v is equal to u plus 80 using this equation here yeah, write an equation for vy what is vy vy equal to initial initial vertical velocity plus ay vertical acceleration into t vy equal to uy plus ay into t okay time is a scalar for scalar there are no components correct now what is vy okay at time of maximum height okay vy equal to 0, vy equal to 0, when vy is equal to 0, when t is t maximum, when t, when the time is time of maximum height, then at that moment, vertical component of velocity is 0, try to understand, okay, when t is t maximum, means when the particle is at the maximum height, vertical component of velocity is 0, if I write t maximum, then I can put vy equal to 0, what is uy, vertical component of velocity, uy is equal to u sin theta, what is ay? We know there is only one component of acceleration that is minus g. Acceleration is minus g. So minus g into t maximum. So what happens? g into t maximum is equal to u sin theta or therefore time of maximum height is equal to u sin theta divided by g. So this is the equation for time of maximum height. Now what is time of flight? <coughs> what is time of flight? Time of flight means Time required for the projectile, okay, to come from, say, if this is initial point, this is final point. So, time required for the projectile to reach back to the ground. The total time we call it as time of flight. So, we know that time of ascent is equal to time of descent. Time required for the projectile to reach the maximum height is equal to time required for the projectile to reach the final point from the maximum height. So, therefore, time of flight is equal to 2 times time of maximum height. So therefore equation for equation for time of light would be equal to 2 into u sin theta divided by g. 2 into u sin theta divided by g. So this is the equation. Hope you understood this very easy. Equation for time of maximum height and time of flight. Okay, next. <coughs> we'll derive equation for maximum height. Okay. How to find maximum height? For this, we will use the equation. Okay v square equal to u square plus 2ax, okay, maximum, at maximum height we know vy equal to 0, correct now, correct now, at, at maximum height, at maximum height, we already know that vy is equal to 0, so therefore we write uh, this equation, you know, in terms of vertical components, what happens, vy square is equal to uy square plus 2 into, 2 into ay into, ay into, x okay or a y into y y displacement i'll write a y into a y into y what is this y displacement in the vertical direction okay when v y becomes equal to zero when 
when vy becomes equal to 0 when the vertical displacement is h hope you can understand hope you can understand okay or i'll write an equation uh, here I'll write a simple diagram for your understanding here okay so here what is this actually this is vertical component of displacement okay at maximum height what is vy vy equal to zero when vy equal to zero y becomes maximum that maximum we call it as h uh, maximum height of the projectile i call it as h when vy equal to zero y becomes equal to h means it is at the maximum height okay so when when i substitute y is equal to h you can substitute vy equal to zero okay so zero <coughs> Okay, so 0 equal to ui square. What is ui? ui means vertical component of velocity. That is u sin theta. ui square means u square sin square theta. Okay, then uh, plus 2 into, what is ay? ay is minus g, minus g into h. So what happens? 2gh, I'll bring it to LHS. What happens? 2gh is equal to u square sin square theta. Or this implies h is equal to, h is equal to, u square sin square theta divided by 2g. So this is the equation for maximum height. h is equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g. Simple, you might have understood it. Whenever you feel like subject is being difficult, go back to the previous video. Watch again, watch again, watch again. Write notes, you will understand. Okay, don't worry. Now uh, we will derive an expression for range of a projectile. What is range? Range means horizontal distance travelled by the projectile. Horizontal distance. Horizontal distance travelled by the projectile. Travelled by the projectile during its flight. Horizontal distance travelled by the projectile during, during its flight. During its flight means means for your understanding if this is projectile if this is projectile okay so this is the horizontal distance traveled correct now that is called range horizontal distance traveled by the projectile during its flight is called range so range means horizontal distance now to find horizontal distance what is the equation horizontal distance traveled equal to horizontal component of velocity into time correct now horizontal velocity or displacement equal to velocity into time Okay, so what is this horizontal distance traveled? We call it as a range represented by capital letter R. So R is equal to what is horizontal component of velocity? We know from the diagram it is u cos theta. What is the time required from here for, for the projectile to, to come from this point to this point, initial to final? This time we have already calculated, refer back it is time of flight. So horizontal distance traveled equal to horizontal component of velocity into time of flight also we know the equation for time of flight range equal to u cos theta u cos theta into time of flight what is time of flight 2 into u sin theta divided by g okay now i'll write this as i'll uh, i'll uh, okay now i'll write this as 2 by g into this implies i'll, I'll erase this okay i'll erase this range range equal to i'll write 2 by g 2 by g into u, u cos theta into u sin theta correct na u cos theta into u sin theta okay now r is equal to 2 by g into ux into uy say for example for you in the given problem only horizontal and vertical component of velocities are given then you can use this formula okay otherwise otherwise range equal to see 2 sin theta cos theta trigonometric identity what is 2 sin theta cos theta sin 2 theta we know that we know that i'll write here sin 2 theta sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta therefore therefore i'll replace this 2 okay sin theta and cos theta by sin sin 2 theta then what happens this u into u will be u square correct now you will get u square by g into sin 2 theta so this is the 
equation for range of a projectile. Now, we will we'll derive an equation for maximum range. This is important. Uh, when the range will be maximum? The range will be maximum when this sine 2 theta is maximum. When sine 2 theta is maximum? Okay, maximum value of sine 2 theta. Maximum value of sine function is 1. Correct, now? Correct, now? So, range will be maximum, okay, you have to think like this, range will be maximum when sin 2 theta is maximum. What is the maximum value of sin 2 theta? Is 1. So, sin 2 theta gives 1 if this 2 theta becomes 90 degree because we know that sin 90 is 1. So, therefore, this implies, okay, this implies 2 theta is equal to 90 degree means theta equal to 45 degree, okay. When theta equal to 45 degree, range is maximum, we knew it. While playing cricket, if we have to throw a ball to a very large distance, we, we, we used to throw the ball at an angle 45 degree. We never used to throw like this or throw like this. Okay, We used to throw the ball at an angle 45 degree. Naturally, if a frog wants to uh, travel a large distance, it, 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 it jumps at an angle of 45 degree. Who has taught the frog? frog? Nobody has taken the protractor and you know, you know, helped the uh, frog to jump. It is already in the nature. What we are doing is proving mathematically. That's it. Okay. When theta is equal to 45 degree, range is maximum. So then what is the what is the equation for maximum range? Maximum range equal to u square by g. What happens? When theta equal to 45 degree, 2 into 45 degree, 90 degree, sin 90 is 1, r maximum equal to u square by g. Hope you understood this derivation. Now we will uh, solve two sim simple problems. The first one, a ball is thrown making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal okay making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal which is 30 degree okay with speed 19.6 meter per second calculate time of maximum height time of flight okay time of maximum height t maximum what is the formula t maximum equal to u sin theta divided by g okay what is u 19.6 19.6 sin theta how much theta is 30 degree sin 30 sin 30 is half, correct now, sin 30 is half, divided by g, what is the value of g, 9.8, usually we were taking uh, 10, no, now why 9.8, because here 19.6 is there, na? easily it goes, 9.8, 2 times, correct now, 2, 2 gets cancelled, so what is, uh, what is time of maximum height, time of maximum height is 1 second, okay, we know that time of flight, time of flight is equal to 2 times time of maximum height, so time of flight, is equal to 2 seconds therefore time of flight is equal to 2 seconds very simple okay now same problem we will solve in straight line chapter see a ball is thrown vertically upwards a ball is thrown vertically upwards with the speed 19.6 meter per second okay calculate time of maximum height and time of flight what is time of maximum height time of maximum height means time required for the ball to reach the maximum height time of flight means Time required for the ball to reach the maximum height and then to come back to the same position. So that is time of flight. Okay. So <coughs> what is t maximum? So here uh, we can use, we can use, see at, at maximum height, at maximum height, at maximum height, final velocity v equal to 0. Correct now, v equal to 0. So we use the equation v is equal to u plus e t, v is equal to u plus e t. So, final velocity is 0 when the time is t maximum. Correct now? When the time is t maximum. Then, what is u? Initial velocity is 19.6. 19.6. A is 9.8. Okay. Okay. So, therefore, therefore, t maximum. Okay. 9.8 into t maximum equal to 19.6. This implies t maximum equal to 19.6 divided by 9.8 is equal to 2 seconds. 2 seconds, okay, huh. then, <coughs> then we know that time of light, time of light is equal to 2 into, 2 into t maximum is equal to 2 into 2 seconds, or that is equal to 4 seconds, 